Alright guys, Red here. Welcome to Red Resort. In this show we take a look at what's been happening around the verse, whether that be social media, Reddit, YouTube etc. And then we'll take a wee look at what's coming from official sources as well, just to give you a weekly Star Citizen summary. So let's hop right over to Reddit first to see what those nut jobs have been up to this week. First up we've got a post from Uncle Porkchop who says, It just be like that. At Grim Hex on a random Thursday. I have no idea what's actually even happening here. Or how this is even possible. But he's right, it do be like that sometimes. Next up, user John posted this. It looks like a lot of time went into this, and it turned out pretty stunning in my opinion. Sort of like a cat scan of the Carrick interior. You know, just like lots of slices layered over time to build up an image. Pretty cool stuff. As usual, the links to everything in the video will be below, by the way. So if you have time and you want to leave some love or provide any feedback, please do. We then had this little mini-map from the ISC the other day. And this was basically displayed in the corner of the screen during the show, and it is looking really, really nice. Definitely a massive upgrade to what we've got, which is nothing. And you can see access points on here, and possibly a few other things as well. And if you watch closely, you can actually see the doors opening and closing as well, which will be really handy for guessing where people are located within your ship. Very, very impressive stuff from CIG, I really can't wait till this drops. This person called Deleted was asking, what's everyone's favourite ship in Star Citizen? And the most upvoted answer was... Friendship. Doesn't that just make you feel all warm and fuzzy inside? And that triggered a big list of people all exchanging usernames and making friends in the verse. So that's a pretty big reddit win right there. Wholesome stuff. The F8C cockpit. Which is without a doubt one of the best Star Citizen cockpits I've seen. By the way, if you want to send me pics of your cockpit, let me repeat that, that's pics of your cockpit, then you can send them all to darksoulsenjoyer08 at gmail.com. And I'll maybe feature them on a show when we get enough of them and judge them all. Heavily. And maybe pick a winner, who knows. Anyway, this was uploaded by Minimum Fly, who streams in this cockpit now, so if you have questions, as usual, the link's below. But this is absolute artistry, my friend. Well done. Over on YouTube now, we had definitely the best thing I've seen for a long time. Top Hanger. This is from Lens Nation and as a take on the popular UK series Top Gear. I've watched this a few times now and I just can't get enough. It is so well done. You can tell there's been a monumental amount of work went into this by the producers, Bobby and his son Samar. And they have just nailed this. It honestly has managed to capture the old Top Gear vibe perfectly. It's got the humour, it's got the personality, and all the action just rolled into one hugely entertaining package. I cannot recommend this enough. And if you know what Top Gear is, or even if you don't, you're, you're gonna love it. Next up is Detox, and he has a stealth guide featuring a Hornet Ghost. Now that some functional stealth has made it back into the game, it looks like it's probably time to figure out the best approach to using this in your ship builds. This video will explain the radar sensitivity and signature reduction and lay out all the numbers for you to easily digest so you can figure out your own detection ranges and implement them into your attacks. Seriously informative stuff. And if you like a little dogfight in this game, then it's pretty much essential viewing at this point. Then we had the future of the rep system in the game with Havoc. There are, or should be, a lot of changes coming to reputation pretty soon. And this video attempts to outline exactly what the implications could be here moving forward. A lot was touched on here, including things like mission rewards and special access granted to shop items or perhaps even rare missions. It also might be possible that special privileges might be granted from security, maybe to certain areas or access to certain intel. If you're with the right faction, maybe you unlock access to certain beacons for jumping to. If you aren't, maybe you need to bribe some people. There was a lot to talk about, far more than I can possibly cover in a paragraph or two. For the whole deep dive you should head over and watch the vid linked below, cause I've barely scraped the surface on all this stuff. 
Next up was a space shanty medley from Philly and Plays. I'll say no more here and just give you a little taste. Don't lay our Banu boys low. Soon may the merchant men come to bring us profits and glee and fun. One day when the BMM's done, we'll take our leave and go. What will we do with a drunken spaceman? What will we do with a drunken spaceman? What will we do with a drunken spaceman? Or lie in the morn? Oh, the belt was foul and our coolant ran dry. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. She was leaking green and it all went by. And it's time for us to leave her. Hydric ship ain't got no sails. Haul away, haul away. They all blown off in a pyro solar gale, and we're bound away back to Terra. So he Great, right? Now get over there and like and subscribe so he keeps making them. Tell him we need a Viking war chant for boarding hostile stations in Pyro. Right, so the only other things to cover from YouTube is the official ISC and live content. But I'll cover them at the end so that if you've seen them, you can just skip that part and not miss anything. What we did get early on in the week was a lot of leaked data from the 3.23 Evo Kai. So, if spoilers aren't your thing, now's the time to skip ahead. If you're staying for this section, then you'd best hold on to your butts because there's a lot to get through. But it's all really, really good stuff. So as I've said, this was all data mined from the 3.23 Evo Kai files. So that doesn't mean it will even be in 3.23. So take all this with a pinch of salt and that it might just be development processes moving foundations into place for a later time. Anyway, first off, we have a few apps being mentioned for the Moby Glass. We have a Galactopedia, Messages, Personal Status, Ship Status and Star Map. The mind boggles here, honestly. The Galactopedia is going to be a massive boon to the game if it gets added. The other interesting one here is the ship status. Now, it might just be ship status. You know, current condition, atmosphere. But what if it's remote controls for venting and doors, etc? That would be a dream come true, honestly. There's also mention of some sort of on-foot prison race. Which could be cool. Let's speed things up a bit though. Just pause if you want to take a longer look. I'm not going to talk about these, I'm just going to rattle them off. There's a bunch of labels for the star map. There's a few new mineable materials. There's distribution center missions. Lots and lots of new pyro outposts. Mention of shop reputation discounts. Bunch of new personal statuses. Some new pyro station names. New gravlev race maps. There's also mention of some sort of quadruped creature. The Hex Penetrator, which seems to be some sort of hacking tool. And some wingman behaviours. Now, I don't know about you, but some of that sounds very excitement inducing. The highlights for me would be the star map update and the quadruped creatures perhaps. New racetracks would be pretty cool as well. I've also heard that there was a live test involving the Idris, which has taken place with devs flying the ship versus a bunch of fighters from the community. I highly doubt that Idris will be in for 3.23, but it definitely signals that things are coming along nicely. In fact, 3.23 looks to be shaping up to be a really, really great patch, if they can get some form of stability nailed down. In the Star Citizen Live, a lot of what is coming was discussed, and I would love to take a very long time and talk about most of that stuff. But honestly, YouTube is about to be saturated with 3.23 hype. So I'm just going to leave it here and I'll stick to the fringes and the community stuff. But there is a lot to be excited about. Like just off the top of my head, we've got the EVA system coming in. The interaction system looks like it's going to change things up. The distribution centers looks like there's going to be missions coming from there and going to there with lots of different factions and layouts. Master mode should be coming in as well as things like precision targeting. Oh, and um, all guns will now be gimbaled. So yeah, I'd avoid the forums for a few days because people are going to have something to say about that, I would imagine. Uh, what else was there? Oh, repooling ammo. So you can like empty magazines and refill other ones. That's pretty cool. A dynamic crosshair that gives you an idea of the sort of spread you can expect from your shots. Uh, armor perks. 
was discussed as well. So like the crosshairs might just be on combat armour. There might be other perks for engineering and medic suits. Probably just combat for 3.23 though. Oh yeah, and a compass was confirmed. As well as, you know, the minimap and stuff. So I mean, there's lots, there's so much. Oh, and the new star map, don't forget the new star map. Because I mean, there's like a, a massive list of stuff. Well, the new character creator will be in as well. Freight elevators, a new blockade runner mission, an update to Xeno Threat. I think the new looting UI might be in. And then he went on to talk about all these big economy changes. Big economy changes. So things like a combat focused ship would cost more. Alien parts would cost more. Size would cost more. Examples were given. The Pisces will be half a million, which is lower than it is now. The Arrow will be two million. The Connie will be 10 million. The Hammerhead will be 45 to 50 million. And the 890 will be around 70 million. Now, obviously, everything else gets adjusted under that. So, will the work be more to reach that? Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But that's just a skim off the surface. Just in case you happen to have not heard these things yet. I've no doubt over the next few days you're going to hear about them a lot. So, it begins. The hype train is a rolling. Anyway, that's all for this week. Big thank you to my channel members, Nils Gerdes and Spacecraft. If you know anyone looking to get into Star Citizen, please use one of the codes on screen now for some extra in-game credits. If you enjoyed this video, remember like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you next week. 07 guys.